Coach, why does this team have so much trouble holding a lead? Um, you know, obviously the turnovers in the second half. You know, I believe it was uh, 10 turnovers for 16 points. Um, and probably even more important, Vic, than the turnovers are, is just uh, we have a really good player that we can't get the ball to. Um, and uh, we had a lot of guys that looked a little nervous out there as they turned up their pressure. Um, so, yeah, anytime you lose a, a, a game where you led by 25 points in the second half uh, is unacceptable. Uh, it starts with me. Um, so, you know, put this on me. You know, um, you know, obviously, we didn't shoot the ball well, four of 33 from the three-point line. Um, but if you can't get Nicole Jokic to basketball, um, you know, that, that's a big, big problem. Did you have any thoughts of calling a timeout there at the end, or did you want to just to see it through? Yeah, I, the, our execution was piss poor. Um, so if we call a timeout, we'd have been do, doing them a favor. Um, we probably wouldn't have gotten the ball in bounds, the way things were going for us. Um, so, yeah, we had one to, to take, but I just felt uh, we're going to have a much better chance of getting a good look uh, by just letting him flow. And obviously, Nicola's shot was uh, on the money, uh, looked good. And then Aaron's follow-up, you know, I'm not sure if it would have counted or not, but um, he had a great look on the follow-up as well. But it should never have come down to that. You know, that's the reality. It should never have come down to that. Um, first half, I thought the defense was great. Second half, it was awful. Uh, they shot 65%, scored 32 points in the fourth quarter. So when you couple not defending, uh, not being able to make a shot, their zone got us really, really tentative. And, um, and then we weren't getting back in transition you know, to top it all off. So this was a, uh, I guess, a recipe for disaster. Mike Singer, go ahead. Yeah, Michael, you said the loss is on you or you'll take responsibility for it. But, but what is the frustration level from the guys in the locker room? Uh, I don't know. You got to talk to those guys, you know. Um, you know, losses like this you know, keep me awake for weeks. You know, I think today's NBA player, you know, they're worrying about where they're going out tonight or, you know, what's going to happen. But, you know, um, I can't I can't speak to that. You know, I, I wasn't in there hanging out with them after I spoke to them briefly. Matt Moore, go ahead. Coach, is, is Monte still on a minutes limit? Is there, Was there a reason why you chose not to go with him down the stretch or is he still on a minutes limit? Monte? Yeah. Monte was in the game down the stretch. Okay. I was curious about why Faka was still in. My bad. Monte Morris played 34 minutes tonight, Matt, and he was in the game down the stretch. So you got to watch the game a little bit closer. Sorry, buddy. Adam Maris, go ahead. A similar note, we've seen a couple games now with Bones Highland not playing in the second half. What are the things that, that – he's doing that that are keeping him out of the game uh the game in okc was actually um you know bones coming up to me saying uh you know he had no legs you know he that's a game adam where he had uh this testing has been really cruel and unusual to uh, to bones island but that's in the third time this season where bones had to fly uh commercially and meet the team on the road on the day of a game uh, and I give Bones credit, that game in OKC, he came up to me and said he had just no legs. So I went with Dave on that second half because of that. Uh, tonight, obviously, was just, uh, you know, I thought in the first half, um, struggling to make shots. Um, and then if you're not making shots, you got to be able to guard. Um, so, you know, we picked up James Ennis, threw him out there, um, some size, some length, and obviously in his um, long career, a guy that can make a shot as well. So it's just... Uh, to try to give somebody else a look. But for Bones, you know, obviously when the shot's not going and it's not going to go every night, you have to find other ways to help your team, especially on defense, uh, rebounding, play, uh, making plays for your teammates, whatever it may be. Hey, Michael, following up on your point about the guys need to get the ball even more to Nicola, what uh, contributed to the lack of that? Well, I mean, you have to give the Clippers credit. I mean, I, I thought... Um, you know, after being down 25, they didn't roll over. They fought. They competed. Uh, Ty Lu found a group of guys that was willing to go out there and play the game the right way uh, and gave them life. Uh, and that, that life started on the defensive end. Just like, you know, in the first half, our life started on the defensive end. We got away from defending. And so now we're playing against a set defense all the second half. Um, but whether it's them switching, fronting, double teaming, uh, for Nicola to only get 14 shots, it was 9 of 14. You know, thank goodness for Nicole and Aaron. 
you know, Aaron's 11 for 15, uh, Nicola nine for 14 and everybody else. I was really struggled to make shots tonight, but uh, it was just in the post. They fronted him. They double teamed him uh, in pick and rolls. They were switching his pick and rolls, sitting down at the nail, fronting him at the nail, not allowing him to get that easy catch. And, uh, you know, we had a lot of guys running away from the ball in big moments. Thank you, Coach. Yeah, thank you. Thank you. Thank you.